Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about apparent wind and velocity shifts. Apparent wind is an elementary concept in sailing that we are going to use again to understand other concepts. So what is apparent wind? Well, it is the wind that you experience while you are sailing. This is different from the wind that you experience standing on shore, however. We call that wind the true wind, and you only feel it when you are stationary. As an example, let's say we have a 10 knot true wind blowing directly off of our beat. Now once we start moving and get up to a speed of 6 knots, we start to experience a second wind. This is called the velocity wind. It is created by the movement of the boat through the air. It doesn't matter if you move through the air or the air is moving towards you. To the boat, it all feels and acts the same. If you were to go for a run indoors, you'd feel the wind on your face, even though the air inside isn't moving. The same thing happens to your boat. The true wind and velocity wind combine to give us the apparent wind. Apparent wind is the only wind that we can observe while sailing. It is what we see in our wind indicators and feel on our face. Apparent wind comes from a direction between the true wind and velocity wind directions and has a strength that reflects the combination of those two winds. The direction of the apparent wind will be closer to whichever of the two winds is stronger. In our example, we can see, we can see the apparent wind is 11.6 knots, which is more than the true wind or velocity wind alone. The additive nature of true wind and velocity wind is what allows high performance boats such as skiffs or America's Cup catamarans to sail at speeds greater than the true wind speed. They are actually sailing in a very fast apparent wind. This is also what makes running so slow. On a run we have true wind blowing from behind us, but it is cancelled out by the velocity wind blowing from in front. The result is a combined wind with a strength less than both the true wind and velocity wind. Now that we understand apparent wind, let's look at how it can shift. Consider what happens when we hit a puff. Say we're sailing along and the same 10 knot breeze increases to 15 knots, but still from the same direction. At the moment the puff hits our boat, the speed is still 6 knots, and thus the velocity wind is 6 knots. Now the combination of these two winds results in an apparent wind of 16 knots, and the direction shifts closer to the true wind direction. This will feel like a lift, and you will either need to sheet closer or a point higher to trim for it. Every time you hit a puff, you'll get the same shift, a lift. Now, after a few seconds, let's say we accelerate to speed of 8 knots, which increases our velocity wind to 8 knots. The result is an apparent wind of 17 knots and a shift in direction away from the true wind direction. Our lift was actually short-lived. In general, when you sail into a puff, the new apparent wind after you accelerate is still closer to the true wind direction than when you were in the lighter air. So you generally get a lift up and then a shift back down, but overall you have a lift. We get the same kind of shifts when sailing into a lull. Let's say the true wind drops to seven knots in our running example. The result is a shift in apparent wind direction closer to the front of the boat and a decrease in speed from 17 to 10.6 knots. Next, our boat speed will drop, say to 5 knots. And finally, we see a shift in the apparent wind direction back towards the true wind direction and a drop in velocity to 8.6 knots. These changes in wind direction due to changes in wind strength are called velocity shifts. When the wind strength increases, we call that a velocity lift. And when the wind strength decreases, we call that a velocity header. Velocity shifts are important to distinguish from true wind shifts because you cannot gain an advantage from tacking on a velocity shift. The easiest way to identify a velocity shift is to look at the water surface for signs of change in the wind strength. If you're in doubt about whether you've hit a velocity shift or not, sail for 15 to 20 seconds after getting the shift. This would be long enough for your speed to normalize to the speed for the new wind strength, and if you experience a change in
in true wind direction, then you'll know that you are in a velocity shift. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed what you saw, do make sure to subscribe to Sailing Explained for more videos.